And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're heading out in the all-powerful Mirage 2000. First time we've flown this aircraft, guys, in uh, in anger, and pretty impressed. This thing is a monster. So we're going to do some flying. We've got six bouts. We're going to kill all these six F-18s in the next six minutes. All this. Let's go. So flying around. We're starting out at about five, six thousand feet, and we've uh, we've tangled around, and we've ended up down here on the deck. And this is the pretty much the path of all these fights. We're pretty much the same with the Viper being very much a uh, one circle dominant aircraft. It's wanting to get its nose on you, a nose to nose fight. If you're not sure what a one circle is, a two circle is nose to tail, which is what we are at the moment, where I'm chasing him around the circle, and. Uh, this thing's just got some incredible angle of attack. There's a, there's a death, and that's the end of one F-18. So, one down. Let's head out. Let's have a look at another round. Back in, very close, tangled again, back down on the deck. These things just seem to repeat. Now, I've got a couple of different guys I played uh, on this, this evening, and uh, this was on the DCS dog servers. DCS dog fighters server, bloody hell, and uh, great server, really have a great time there, and uh, everyone's really fantastic for the most part, never have any real dramas there, so if you haven't flown anywhere and you'd like to fly just PvP 1v1, one, one one, then uh, check out DCS dog fighters, you'll find them in certainly in the open beta side of the world, so chasing him around, just holding him there, holding him just a couple of fist heights above the uh, canopy bow, keeping control he nearly hit the water on that one again he's climbed away just got enough power to do that but this uh, at 160 knots you just put the burner down and just pull the nose up and climb so that's a good hit but yes we ended up colliding so that was sort of an equal that one chased him around again and uh, the same guy I think this one chased him around again got it on his tail and this is explaining why I was having some frustrations. I was meeting guys on Hornets and they would climb and then the angle of attack just allows them to pull their nose over and do essentially what that Hornet just did and but then come down behind you and kill you. And uh, I haven't found an answer for it when I've been flying the Hornet, gotta say. Again, it just has the angle of attack, it has lots of power, it's light, it's agile. Uh, looking forward to testing now in the two circle regime against say a, a Viper or maybe 15, maybe MiG-29. I'm sure we'll have some of those battles coming up on Let's Fly VFR. And as always, if you've got time spare and you're looking for some information or help, visit letsflyvfr.com. Guys, love to have you visit the, the website. That'd be great. And looks like some previous damage did the damage in that case. Okay, back out again. This is round number four. Again, chased me, and you can see this. You can see the same thing repeating, can't you? It's down. It's come from a, a climb. I've climbed up. As he's climbed up, and as he's come down, I've out climbed him, and then just rolled around on his back, and just followed him to the dirt. And we're here, we're in the toilet bowl, as people often call this, where you both nose pitched down, and just ruddering around more than anything else, guys. And you can see, just hold him above the canopy bow. You don't try and pull him in the hut there because you haven't got the speed. To do that and now we've transitioned to the the two circle ground fight and you can see the viper the, the hornet hasn't got very much power left it hasn't got much speed and you can see the rate that i'm coming around the circle and this is just incredible if we pull it back up still trying to work out these gun sides they're a bit of but if you get close enough it doesn't matter and that's another kill for the mirage about number five guys here we go again Start, still a little bit higher up we've rolled in early to this one this was obviously a bit quicker battle because most of the fights in this video and we've gone around and again we're in that toilet bowl and you can see he's trying to keep his nose above me and the mirage allows me to pull the nose up reduce the descent rate and then allow me to come around the circle and get back behind him in this two circle fight again two circle nose to tail so chasing each other around the park and this is working really well this thing i can't believe it but again it'll be interesting to see if i run to some of you viper guys out there whether you can sort me out so come to the dcs dogfighters and see if you can find me just look for gunny 
happy to have you come and come and look for me and uh, you can teach me a lesson that's perfectly great because if you're beating me then I'm learning and there's another kill there's another hornet no wings left and last one for the day guys again chasing this round this the last couple of battles was a, a different pilot on the DCS dogfighters really enjoying it here round we go and you can see it just pivots on the rudder it makes it so easy following him through again starting to climb but you know he hasn't got the speed to be able to climb away he's not a viper so up over the top in what is really a two circle fight in a vertical axis okay so we're going up and over just looping and looping but following each other around keep this going get some guns out keep him on the move close in until I can get used to sniping with this gun side you can see that's perfect that means you're in, I'm in plane with him I'm right behind him rolling around and ready to finalize this bout pull the nose in pull him into the hut get some rounds out and that's another dead hornet guy so that's six dead six minutes thanks for visiting look forward to catching you back here at let's fly vfr again real soon see ya bye